Hi, thank you for joining me for this process video. And today's video is for the Hey Little Magpie Cyber Crop. And this is challenge number two that's been set by Jackie Ashton and it was to use circles on a layout. As soon as I saw her challenge, I knew straight away that I wanted to use this photo of the Imagine Mosaic in Centre Park from our trip to New York in at the end of 2000. And, sorry, 2023, gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> So first of all, I'm using some mixed media. I've got a new ink called Weathered Wood, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, because I wanted a nice grey. And I'm just using my brayer to roll that um, watered down onto my background paper, just straight up the middle. And you saw I went a couple of times horizontally as well as vertically. And now I'm using the Vicky Bootin um, Gold Glaze to use through a stencil, one of Vicky Bootin's stencil. This is from the Discover and Create collection to add some circles. So you can see I've used some um, washi to mask off the bits that I don't want the glaze to go over and I just misted my stencil brush. Um, it was a tip I saw Vicky mentioning on one of her Friday Night Lives and I thought I'd give it a go. It's supposed to help the glaze not be too chunky when it goes through the stencil. So I've done it at the bottom and I'm just flipping the stencil over and doing it at the top as well. Um, using the same masking tape and again I'll add some card at the bottom as I get further down the stencil. I won't make you watch all that. So there it is done. I wasn't careful enough pulling this stencil off and I have pulled a little bit of the card. You can see just there on the right hand side but <laughs> it's fine. The photo will cover it. I'm not too concerned. So now I'm using that same ink, the Weathered Wood, uh, the Distress Oxide, with some print shop stamps, um, putting out the circular elements of this stamp. I love the effect of tone on tone. When you water down an ink, um, you get the watercolour look. And then when you use it solid as it is, um, it's much darker and it looks really effective when you use stamps with it, doing it that way. So just putting out various circular elements from these stamps and um, adding them to the block and just stamping them down. I'm not being too precious, I just want to keep them more or less in that vertical um, line down the centre of the page. Last one now, I think, and then I can move on. I really love, if you've watched me before, you'll know this, I love vertical designs. I am actually going to pull something in onto the left of this as well, but um, on the whole, it is a vertical design once again. And this photo, it was quite difficult to get a photo because obviously everybody wants to stand on the mosaic to have their photo done or have a film of them for TikTok or what have you. But um, I did manage to more or less get it. I've trimmed it down a little bit to get rid of some people's feet. And you can see I'm slightly to the side because there was a queue to take a photo. It's so different. Ross and I went back in 1999 um, and saw this and it was so very different then than it is now. It was um, much more touristy, if you like, this time around. But um, the fact that I'm slightly on the side gave me a little bit of difficulty when I'm sticking this photo down, you'll see soon. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just, I'm not sticking it down. <laughs> I'm just embellishing the layout and deciding what to do. So I've matted the photo onto some six by eight paper from this collection. And now I'm just going through all the papery pieces and the ephemera pieces to see what else to add. Straight away, I saw these washi tape stickers of the branch and the bird. And I thought that would be a really nice thing to add to this layout, just coming out from the left-hand side, because obviously we're in a park and it just sort of breaks up that, um, straight vertical line that I've got going on. I then look through the washi tape stickers to see what else there is and I find these circular elements. So I've added the pink one to the right, bottom right hand corner of the photo and then this blue one I'm just cutting in half to add half to the bottom and half to the top so it looks as if they're going off the page and this sort of stretches the eye right the way down the page. So there's the other half at the top there. And now I'm thinking about how I'm going to put that photo down still. I see another branch, so I'm just going to add that underneath the main branch. So that little cluster on the left. And I love how that extends that line slightly down towards the photo. So everything's pointing to the photo to make you look at that. So here's where I'm struggling to decide whether to have the word imagine straight on or the photo straight on. <laughs> so I'm going to add some foam pads just to raise the photo up a little bit to give it prominence. These are the Stix 225 mil foam pads, which I absolutely love. They're in a roll and we sell them at Hey Little Magpie. I highly recommend them. I know a lot of the girls use them now as well. So I did try it on a um, slant so that the word imagine was straight on, but it really didn't look right. So I've moved it back to straight. <laughs> and now I'm going through the stickers and I found this 
um, phrase sticker that says, find joy in the simple things and life will always be fulfilling because we just spent that day walking around Central Park and the surrounding areas and really had a wonderful day together. And it just shows you don't need to spend a lot of money just to have a joyful day, really. When you're with people you love, that's all that matters, isn't it? So now I wanted to use one of the um, circular elements from the sticker sheets, but I'd already used this one. So I'm just using the ink bleed from the edge of the sticker to stick onto some scrap card and then cut round it so that I can use this as a journaling spot. Um, it's a great thing to use if you're in a pinch. Just cut out the outline of the sticker and <laughs> stick it onto some scrap card. So just gluing that down and then I'll add my journaling across that and the journaling just read whilst in Central Park we took the kids to Squirrelberry Fields a very sombre feel. So now going through the labels to see if there's any of those that I can add and I decide to use this one to put at the top of the photo to add my date and I do pull it straight off again <laughs> so I can add the date on um, the glass mat. It was just easier than trying to fit it on there and then I'll stick it back again after. There we go, and I'm just being careful because it's slightly glossy. Even though I've used an archival ink that shouldn't smudge, I wanted to make sure it was dry before I touched that ink, so I haven't stuck it on too firmly yet. And then this is one of our flare badges from Hey Little Magpie, the canvas one and a quarter inch flare. Um, just another circular element to add to the page. And then this little circular element, it says moments captured and is from one of our printables at Hey Little Magpie. It's from the Set Sail collection. I just had it sitting on my desk, so I thought that would work nicely. So now going in with my whole reinforce the punch from We Are Memory Keepers to add some more circular elements in black card. Um, again, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know this is something that I do frequently because I just really like the look it adds to a page and bringing that black in sort of ties everything together with the black from the bird and the black from that word strip that I've got across the bottom of the photo. So again I'm cutting one in half to add to the top and the bottom of the page just for that continuity to take your eye right off the page. I won't make you watch me sticking all this down. <laughs> there you go. And then finally I'm going to go in with some mark making with my black gel pen and I'm just doing squiggles. And the great thing about squiggles is you can just keep going until it's circular. Quite often I start off slightly oval, but you can self-correct and just keep going until you're happy with the mark that you've created. And I'm doing bigger ones and smaller ones. I am sorry about the camera shake. <laughs> I was obviously um, going a bit hard on, on my squiggles there. So very nearly done now. Do check out Hey Little Magpie Chat and Inspiration on Facebook. I'll leave the link below and um, we'd love it if you joined us. There, It's a great community group and there's loads of inspiration provided there. So, oh, this is the very last thing I did. I went in with my pen lid and some black soot ink and I'm just going around adding some rings using that pen lid as a stamp. Um, anything circular, this is a great way of doing it. I quite often do it where I, I water the ink down, but today I decided to be bold and just use the ink as is and it worked out perfectly. Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this process video. I do hope you'll join in and try the challenge and um, see what else the team have set and I shall see you again very soon. Bye.